Yeah, and uh, I had a look at what you wrote down uh, because I didn't know exactly what you meant uh, with the programs, and I just was, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. curious how you uh, would communicate about it. And um, yeah, so I, I had a look at it, and um, I must say I am not a. Uh, um, I have trouble with reading a lot of texts. Like I, yeah. I read a lot of books, but just a, a text about what was what would be in for me and what this program is about. Yeah. I found it a bit hard to uh, to grasp. And um, totally. yeah, that makes sense. And I, I found out actually when I think it was um, Michael. What is his name? Sten Stenhagen, Stenhagen, something. Okay, He's yeah, 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 yeah. as well. Hmm. I haven't met him yet, but um, he had something made up uh, by Felipe, I think, uh, a PDF. Oh, yes. Yeah, the brochure thing. Yeah. 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 Which was like a lot of images and a lot of stuff in mm. there. And I sort of, sort of browsed through it. Um, and then I found out that I am actually an image, an image uh, kind of person. So, um, and then I got back to your text again. And uh, yeah. 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 So it takes a bit of an effort for me yeah. to, uh, to be a yeah. little bit more clear about it. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So it is, um, do you use packages like already? Is that something you, you already do or something you'd like to do? Or? Yeah, I think I do that. Um, I wasn't sure when I read about packages and programs but uh, yeah I do that and then I read in your text that you're actually doing this together with your clients which makes yeah, it yeah. a lot of fun and yeah uh, yeah it really does yeah, yeah 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 so yeah I I recently asked my um a client of mine um she was sort of waiting for me to make something of an offer and then she sort of ex expressed that three times and I said like okay, what would be an irresistible offer for you? Yeah. And then she sort of had to really bend her yeah. brain around it. And she actually thought it was really fun to think yeah. about it from that perspective. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, it's... Um, yeah, it is such a... It doesn't always work that way, but it's so... Like, like I think... The, the the program you know such that it is really is is about people discovering for themselves what's possible mm -hmm. but because when, <clears throat> once you've got like an internal reference point for for you know what could be so for example for many people they might not ever have thought of of selling a package mm -hmm. Like it'll be like, okay, what do you, you know, <clears throat> you know, one hour or five hours or one month or three months. And that's, that's as far as it's gone. And it would still be like one-to-one -one time. And it's how it doesn't have to be that. It could be all sorts of things. So it's, it's just kind of going, well, you, you know, you could do that. You could do that. You could do that. And then there's like, like you've discovered this beautiful sort of fertile space of co-creation and it's in many ways it's not even co-creation it's just like giving the client an opportunity to construct their own program yes and then putting a number on it for them and and it, and usually it's a number that they'd like to pay because if that's the degree to which they're going to back themselves to create to do the stuff they said they're going to do it's that so the interesting thing for me about this program is that even people who are who are signed. So I, I recorded an interview with uh, Julie like a, an hour or so ago, I think. And and she literally had a program. And articulated it, followed by the sentence, "I'm not really sure." And she literally articulated. Now you'd be able to watch the, the thing on YouTube. I just sat there giggling, listening, and occasionally I like because I like to talk. I went, "Oh, you could," and then we're like, "Now nah, shut up, Dave." You know. <laughs> you don't need to say anything and she just articulated it and then she was like oh, i'm not totally sure how i'd share this and then she described how she'd share it perfectly and then she's like oh and it could be confusing 
And then she talked herself out of her confusion. So there was just this beautiful, simple unfolding. And, and really the, 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 the space of the program is just to allow that to happen. And, and it seems to be of like the three or four conversations I've done, <laughs> everybody's produced a program there and then. And so in a sense, it then really doesn't matter whether they sign up or not, like the work's done. You now know you can go from this blank space called nothing to creating something, to bringing something into the world, and then the world will tell you what it thinks of it. And then you just keep doing that <laughs> and refining and learning and sharing, right? And that's it. That's yeah. really all there is to it. Especially that last part. Um, and I think I have, as a lot of people do, uh, a little bit of trouble with, like, I can envision it. Yeah. I, I have this program, program I'm looking to to start in October November yeah. and it comes out of a program that I'm running at this moment but it's like a light version and I want to have a, a gold version of it um, but I find it really hard to um, to tell people what it's about what's it about well it's actually the, the short the shortest version is the the exploration of the magic of creation. Wow. So, uh, and it started out as something that I called the butterfly experiment, like oh, wow. uh, from the butterfly effect. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And um, because I sort of, I don't know, found out talking to all these people and, and especially talking to myself, about goals that were on the mountaintop and like really far away and you yeah. sort of overlook what's right underneath your nose yeah yeah and so i just thought because i was so miserable of always thinking ahead 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 and all these exercises like what do you want to do in one year and five years from now yeah. and like i just shut down my whole yeah. my whole creativity seems to sort of i don't know it's blocked yeah, and, I get you. Uh, it's yeah, not, I understand. It didn't feel like fun anymore. No, no. And then I did an exercise. Mm. I think it was one of uh, Dominic Scafidi's um, courses, just a light course. There was a, um, a series of questions that we sort of playfully uh, answered about our own lives up until now. Yeah. So what questions like... Um, what do you find you have all you always have money for you know and of course it's food right. and 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 but yeah. not that it's just like what seems trivial but you have always money for and yeah. uh, reserve money for and that's really a personal thing it's not the same for everyone yeah. and i just answered this question and i thought i looked back and i thought like this is really nice because it is actually already created and then I thought, like, what if I just give up this thinking ahead, like, towards this mountaintop and just look at what I have now and what I'm doing out of, not out of habit only, but because I feel more at home or I feel more, I feel more myself. Yeah. This is what I need. This is what I love. This is what I do. And just follow my preferences. Yeah. Which is some, some, somehow it has gotten in my mind and not, not only my mind that this is a bad thing yeah, to yeah. your preferences yeah yeah amazing so, yeah, that was that was an amazing thing that happened there it was so effortless that I thought okay I'm just gonna stubbornly choose whatever is right in front of me that I really like I don't know it does something to my system like oh yeah, yeah. this is this is opening up something yeah. I'll just go for it. And that's not easy to transmit or to, con to communicate to other people because they, they immediately, immediately go like, oh, yeah, yeah, love attraction. You've yeah. just done it beautifully, actually. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I think you did. I, I, yeah, you did, you did. So, I mean, you know, we're recording this, so you're going to get to okay. watch it back. But I think you just described it perfectly. And I think somebody who resonates with that would go, oh, yeah, I'd love mm -hmm. to be able to do that. And so it's like, 
I love Dominic. He's such a cool and clever and, you know, grounded guy. And and yeah. when I did an interview with him a while back, and when he said... Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's such fun. I just, like, my head was, like, blowing to pieces. Yeah, I could and when tell. He said, when he said, yeah, you know, he was, what? what are you saying? Oh, man, it was such a giggle. But when he was saying... You know that when you when you create an idea, effectively you create all of it, like the whole thing. That that like like it's done. It just it doesn't necessarily feel that way, but it it is actually done. And then you, your only job, in a sense, is to remain open, like like vibrating at, at, at that frequency. And I think that's for a lot of people, like the missing piece of the jigsaw, because you know you you just you can literally you can you can play the recording back have you know one of the many um devices that dictates it for you from the recording and there's your sales copy with all the correct energy with all the exploration the joy it's just there and then you just put that out and then the world will tell you what it thinks about it. and somewhere in that process that sounds like it's more complicated than it is and so people don't take action so part of the reason for doing like a monthly thing in Julie's interview, she said, she said, I just need a kind of bit of, a, of accountability. I just need to be able to check in that I do do the stuff that I want to do. You know, like like I, I do actually write it down and share it and whatever. And even like the stuff you were talking about, about your own challenge, that's that's so beautiful for, you know, I'm going to say sales copy because I don't, you know, or a description or a brochure. It, it's mm -hmm. like because you're just sharing the honest challenge that you can help somebody to overcome mm -hmm. well, that's like it it's like you've just described it and then there's this tail end story which then goes but i can't really describe it so we've just done it it's perfect it was beautiful mm -hmm. any copywriter would listen to that i'm sure and go oh yeah that's lovely yeah i don't think i'd write any better than that mm -hmm. and so somehow in in setting these processes up, like part of part of my skill, if you like, is I make the simplicity so transparent that you can kind of look at it and go, "Oh yeah, I can do this." And once you've seen it, and like like it becomes a, a visceral experience of "I can do this," "I'm doing this," that's it. It's done. It's like learning to walk. Do you know what I mean? You, you, nobody has yeah. to get up each day and go, oh, man, I'm not sure I can walk. <laughs> so you can. It's just in there. I'm not sure I can write sales copy for a program. You can. I'm not sure what I'd include. No, you are. Honestly, it's done. It's over. Then you just get to practice over time. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so what, try make it sound more so what's your program about dave in short <laughs> that <laughs> that that's exactly it that's it everybody who wants to have a program has a program in them that's fully created and they can express and sell in the world and we'll just tease it out of them some people are literally coming into it and they've got the whole program already and are articulating it you know if you were to join you'd be one of them you just described it yeah. Julie's coming into it. She's booked and paid. She described it. The only thing she's got to do then is uh, take all the action steps to put that into the world. Yeah. And so the program's just there to to support to support that process. Um, I'm, I'm kind of good at getting people to do stuff, just because I. It's not even that I can get them to do stuff. Like you, your natural momentum is doing stuff. It's just the innocent that you've put the handbrake on. Mm -hmm. And I'm just quite good at getting you to take the handbrake off, even even if you don't even notice that you've taken the handbrake off, and then you'll just start doing things. And that's really it. That's like, a nice one, yeah. That's that's it. And then I can tell some stories about stuff I've done because I just get excited and like telling stories. And sometimes those stories help take the handbrake off for somebody because they realize that it isn't this strange, mysterious world called business that they do you know those people <laughs> those yeah. who are good at business i wasn't any good at business i became a ceo in four years with no business background that's not a ooh look at me that's like it's possible 
yeah. just by following the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and common sense and looking at things and getting feedback and whatever. It's like, it's not. And I'm not, I'm not denigrating what I did, but it's not quite as complicated as it might sound. Like, like seriously, you can do it. <laughs> Yeah, we make it complicated in our yeah. heads uh, because we're already overseeing every step that we that yeah. we we'll have to take. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And and so it's just yeah, it's just a chance to to not do that, or to do that and take some action anyway, and and be you around know, people who are doing the same thing. Yeah. What is difficult is that. Um, like I, I, I am grounded in yoga. And mm. whenever I use the word yoga, something is happening. Like I heard you say, like, um, I got a yoga mat for my birthday or whatever. What, what, like I'm living in a modern world, you know, <laughs> how crazy is this? And everybody knows yoga, yoga mat. But mm. when I say I am grounded in yoga, people actually don't know what it's about, but yeah, they yeah. filled it in. Yeah. So that's what it, that's what makes it um, sometimes difficult to get through to people because they're already filling in what yeah, they of sort of half half heard, you know. Yeah, completely. So I wanna I wanna. It started with um, ignoring or even dismissing the word yoga and just talk around it which felt like I was a fraud you know because then I'm yeah. using all these words that sort of pointing towards what I actually mean and people feel that yeah. so you have to name the things by what they really are for you because otherwise you're talking I don't know next next to yourself and yeah. uh, people cannot relate to that yeah so yeah there it's really easy to fill in what you actually what you think you you are hearing and um and sometimes people have to um, first experience it to feel the difference well that that's exactly why i started doing these videos yeah it, it's because I, I i knew when i wrote it i thought like my temptation would be okay i'm not quite happy with what i've written so i'm gonna hold back and refine it refine it so to to destroy that pattern yeah i just simply start sharing it and then ask for feedback but well, yeah. one of the best feedbacks that people give you, whether they realize or not, is when they don't reply to your messages. That tells you everything you need to know. Now, it makes it slightly harder to perhaps engage them in conversation. Yeah. But if you land on somebody who will, then it's cool because then they're going to tell you that, you know, maybe the energy doesn't match up, whatever, whatever. But I, I, I can look at it from the point of view of like when I started to talk to people, they literally started creating programs live. And the very first conversation I think I did with Anita, where like 12 or so minutes in, she created a program. And I thought, okay, well, energetically, then this works. And that's the only thing that matters to me. Mm -mm. Energetically, it's a match. It works. The intention, which is to have people creating their own programs, packages, whatever, is born out because I've just watched somebody do it in 12 minutes. So like, that's kind of cool. And then the next person did it. <laughs> the next person did it and then the next person did it i'm like okay all right i'll just keep doing these conversations then and eventually if enough people listen to the conversations like i think about 30 something people listen to rose describe hers the other day and the call i did the other night has got about 60 or so things and so eventually that embodied understanding will shift me and my writing will shift and so i'll be able to write go back and refine the copy yeah. and it will be cleaner. It'll yeah. be more energetically true to this experience of being able to create a program in a very short space of time. Yeah. So it's just like, it's just kind of me playing until I can get my writing as clean as my speaking is becoming. That's all. I just still got some other habits in my writing. <laughs> Like, do you know what I mean like old yeah. school flat earth marketing yeah. sales kind of manipulation kind of thing so people feel it and it's like 
that's fine. It, it's just playing lag. It's just playing catch up. But, but when I can have people in this space and just let them like describe, it's going to be beautiful because I, I can see possibility for, you know, people say, oh, I can't write website copy or whatever. Oh, cool. Tell me what it is you can't write. And they'll che- that they'll cheerfully tell me what they want to write. Well, cool. Just yeah, that. It reminds me of a question I uh, that was a couple of years ago, and I still remember, and I still use it sometimes. It's like when you ask questions to a client and they go blank, like, yeah. gee, I don't know. And then I sort of, I asked, what if you would know? And then yeah. an answer came. And yeah, I was totally. just like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did I just ask? And it's well, just, I think in this, in this conversation, you said something like, I'm not sure what it would be. And I just went, oh, well, tell me then. Yeah. And you, you then just spoke yeah. perfectly clearly for the next sort of, you know, few minutes. Because you don't really, like I was talking, not really uh, paying attention to the right words to exactly. choose. And when you're writing down, it like it's like it's, yeah, yeah. it's there and, and it's staring at, right at you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And there's, there's a degree of like almost... Um, uh, uh detached efforting going on or should i say that whereas whereas speaking just tends to come out of the energy the, the, i mean the other thing that i tweaked a, a couple of months back in a it was one of the um uh the sunday evening b or monday evening whichever it was be being visible sessions i noticed that what people were getting into a lovely space into a lovely silence but it was a it was a stillness and I thought, okay, so if we could, if we could take people to that stillness, which kind of silence is the monkey mind, but but the energy of the stillness was still dynamic, then we could have them taking action from stillness. Mm-hmm. Like so, that would be cool. So I just started adjusting energetically what I was doing to to mean that when people fell still. And and all the reasons that it can't happen and start to collapse. There's still like a dynamic in the air. There's still an action that's possible from the space, rather than it just being silence, beautiful feeling, meditation, sleep, which is cool. It's lovely, but but it, it won't get a package created or whatever. So so I just started to see the nuance of that that mm-hmm. that was possible to do with people. So that's been fun playing with that. It's funny because um, I hear you talk about it and it sounds like, yeah, it sounds like something magical is happening and there's a lot of, um, yeah, creating in the moment. Sometimes even when you don't really, uh, you're not aware of of it and then suddenly something is there. And when I look back or when I think back to what you wrote, there's there's not a lot of that in yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. It's just playing catch up, you know. Yeah. 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 It's like flat earth writing with 5D speaking. It just doesn't quite, you know. No. So like for me, you know, uh and, and my main my main thing was cool, let's get uh, you know, the number a hundred came originally, but it's like cool, let's get a hundred people creating packages and whatever. Now, out of that, how many of your people will, you know, join the actual course? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm actually genuinely less attached to that. It's, a, it's, an, it's like a live experiment. Like we can all these business programs that go on for months and make it all sound complicated. And I just think we can shorten it all if we really start to understand the energetic dynamic of how we function. I, I think we can have people doing stuff in a fraction of the time. Um, which yeah it's just i mean it's just like it's a cool edge for me to to play at yeah it sounds to me that you're sort of and it's actually it's got a it's got a um, the same same sort of thing i'm trying to investigate or to explore more is the it's not the creation of something that's in the future it's it's happening while you're yeah thinking of what you want to create that it's actually Absolutely. already created yeah yeah, yeah. totally that. that's yeah, exactly. totally what dominic dominic talks about too huh? it's yeah. Uh, yeah 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 
and, and Steve Hardison like, oh, the same. Oh, I've got to do something with it. Then, yeah. then you're yeah. already in your thinking, and and and. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so yeah, so kind of like like you know my my you know my kind of like task, if you like, now is to go back and and listen back to these recordings and just articulate from what I'm speaking what the program actually is. Yeah. And that's it, you know, and and then just keep experimenting with that. And um, but I think you're right. It, it it's an experiential thing. Once people have got the hang of the role of the, of the energy in it, like the same as the the role of energy and movement, it's the same thing. Yeah. Once you start to feel into that, you you suddenly realize. I think the the thinking quietens on its own. It just does. It just stops. It's like, oh wow! So each time this thing moves and opens, it's creating something. It's not describing it. That's that's what the mind would think it was doing. It's creating a world. So I'm creating program, creating package, creating opportunity. Life. Oh. Yes, almost <laughs> by accident. Because yeah. if I was trying to describe what I want to create. There is an energy that yeah so, yeah yeah that feels more finite and yeah, uh, yeah. like and like a contracted, contracted. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah exactly yeah yeah whereas sitting in this kind of open expansive it's like you can you can just sort of talk and vamp about it and you know and then people either feel it and go oh yeah I really want to you know I really want to do that yeah I could I can imagine like either bringing a package I've got an idea for or creating something totally fresh, whichever, it doesn't, it doesn't matter which it is. Um, yeah, yeah. Everybody will create their own program and create their own requirements for what they need to create out of it. So what yeah. do you think, Dave, is the, like, we, we have, or we are masters in, uh, in destroying whatever magic hits you know um with questions like oh but how am how am i going to do that or what's the next step or what's the first step yeah. so do you think that comes out of the same the same doing the same what what you're actually doing with people or do you get all serious and um and have a a plan or uh, follow steps or whatever no that would ruin no it. no because i i think so if a plan arose out of the creative energy then that's cool but a plan that does that would would just stifle everything it would just it would just feel awkward yeah so so it's not it's not so, yeah the the opposite of plan isn't not plan it's always staying in the openness. It's always staying in the creative vibration from which plan could arise. I tend to think of it more as preparation. I tend to do lots of preparation, very little planning. Yeah, getting ready. Yeah, lots of, yeah, like permanently getting ready, really. I mean, like my whole life is about getting ready. And then when someone, you know, appears, uh, you know, to spend time with you in whatever format, then you've been training all the time for it. Yeah. And sometimes that training looks like, you know, watching a video to learn. Sometimes it looks like going to the supermarket. Sometimes it looks like being on my yoga mat, you know, <laughs> trying to stretch the hips. Sometimes it's trying to write something down and, and there's different flexibility. You know, like my flexibility in, in my hips is improving. My flexibility in my writing seems a bit slower. My flexibility in my speaking is far broader probably the broadest it's ever been energetically and that's cool it's just an exploration of all those things so yeah lots of planning sorry lots of preparation and occasionally mm -hmm. some planning if if that's what makes sense to do yeah but nothing out of constriction unless constriction made sense of course in which case i'd use constriction too yeah, yeah. sometimes yeah. people start sometimes you just got to say to somebody pick one yes. <laughs> you know start i'm not sure yeah. which cool pick one now yeah and often by picking one people go oh no 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 don't want that one i want that one so yeah, yeah everything to me everything stays on the table and then we just use whatever yeah <laughs> yeah it's nice that's yeah. that's a real playful 
way of going about it there. Yeah. yeah, it's fun. Yeah. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. So where do you get too serious? When do I get too serious? Oh, wow. I, I mean, I do get too serious, definitely. Yeah. And I, and I think how I try and see that nowadays is like there's going to be something really important for me to see in it. So I'll try and stay with it without trying to get rid of it. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like, like if, you, if you feel some tension when you're stretching or something, then I'll try and stay in the tension rather than trying to get out of it. Like some yeah. of my habit was always distract out of it. Whereas now when it arises, I'm not saying I enjoy it or that I do it you know, perfectly all the time, far from it. But I'll, I'll try and go, oh yeah, this, this feels uncomfortable. All right, well, let's hang out in the discomfort then. <clears throat> um, in the same way, if you were driving, you know, in the snow and you start to skid, the temptation is to grip. And what you want to do is literally loosen. So it's the same thing until the system settles and self-corrects. Yeah, yeah it feels counterintuitive. <clears throat> Completely, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just not what we're trained to do. No. We've been, we've been trained to grip the wheel harder. You know, oh, uncomfortable feeling. Right, what's wrong then? Let's let's look at it and figure out what's wrong. Versus, oh, uncomfortable feeling. Okay. Until something, you know, usually something is, uh, well, usually something just falls away. And I'm never even quite sure what it is. It's just like a loosening of the energy in the body. Mm -hmm. That's sort of how I feel it. Did your 3P background get you to this understanding or? Yeah, I think it certainly helped. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, I think there's always, for me, there's always been a, um, ooh, how to say it, like a curiosity about, about, a, about a way of being, I suppose. Like a, like a, a way of being that felt more true or more honest or more authentic and more open, <clears throat> and like any, anything that pointed me in that direction, I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll follow that. And that started, you know, started in NLP and then I quickly moved into the principles, um, and then into kind of non-duality and into energetic explorations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's, there there seems to be that. yeah, yeah. There just seems to me to be a le level of um, expression we can we can reach and live from, which is just really really rich and just really beautiful, really you know joy joyful, genuinely joyful. Yeah. And and isn't it's not that we wouldn't work hard, but it doesn't feel like hard work if that makes sense. Yeah. You know, if there's stuff to do, I will work hard, definitely. You know, probably harder than ever, actually. Um, but it doesn't feel it 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 just feels like an expression of of that intention. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I love the principle. More so actually, probably than even a few years ago. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. I'll push pause. <laughs> 